up as he kind of feels out the better characters in this game. And of course, Jesse James, we saw earlier Bayonetta taking it over stretch in a little bit of an upset. Uh huh. Dropping his grab, pretty big. So Wolf is one of those characters that can kind of um, do a decent job uh, air to airing. Uh, Bayo. Obviously, you can't be spending your double jumps, but Wolf has nice big hitboxes and has really good aerial drift, kind of allowing him to put himself in positions that uh, can where he can maybe not super uh, anti air Bayo, but definitely can get some trades that are in his favor. Um, ooh. And again, Wolf critically safe, as is Bayo on block in a lot of situations. I mean, she has not used those specials, those aerials can be pretty safe. Um, ooh. So the the main benefit that Bayo's gonna have in a matchup like Wolf, uh, obviously she's gonna lose the neutral. But Wolf's hitboxes and projectile game is kind of a little bit too good for uh, Bayo to win the neutral. Um, and advantage as Wolf definitely can be a little bit hard getting back to the floor. Wolf's hitboxes, like I said, really tough to deal with. However, uh, Wolf's disadvantage in this match could definitely be really tough. Bayo, if she is good at anything in this game, it is she is really good at guarding. She has really meaty hitboxes that are kind of tough for uh, some characters to get back against. And Wolf is certainly one of those characters. Once Wolf loses double jump on stage, uh, he can definitely be Bale food. Ooh. F throw, looking pretty good. Gets bulleted, no jump throw. Or rather, just wasted right there. Uh -huh. Gets back to stage. Now Rafi with a 49% lead, this is a really good position for Wolf. Still gonna lose there though, 50%. Uh, good amount of extra credit. Uh, obviously, kind of wants to push it here. Uh, you're killing Bayo as Wolf right around that 100% mark. Uh, Bayo isn't really killing Wolf until around 150 ish. So, we're gonna see as to. Uh... Oh! You rolled in? React, my guy. Solid reads by, uh, by Ralphie, though. Uh, Ralphie, I'm liking his positioning kind of putting himself in spots where he is not at the at Bayonetta's range. And uh, that is actually really huge in this matchup is that while Bayonetta can normally space at max range a lot of her uh, a, lo a lot of her, uh, her moves, aerials, or tilts. Uh, when she is close, and even at mid-range with those uh, moves, she's gonna get caught by Wolf Up Smash. With a scoop hitbox on that move, as obviously many have seen in the past, huge. Um, nice getting out of that combo with the Bass within. A good recognition there via Jazzy to immediately air dodge. Looking for a little down kill, hoping Rafi jumps in. Rafi does not bite. That's still out of block. Nice nair on the jump in. Rafi prepared for this corner pressure, not letting Jazzy J even get the chance to get out of this corner. And the corner pressure stays strong right now. Puts him there. Says, get on my stage. Rafi definitely kind of preparing himself for that Roland. Ready to react. Putting himself in positions where even if he jumps, it's going to be hit. And parry into up tilt. A really solid kill option. One of fast, or Wolf's fast options out of that parry that he can still chill with. Right around that 120% mark, 130% mark. And that's going to be doing it. Rafi, right now, 1 0 up over Jazzy G in a pretty dominant game number one. Where are we going? Not the slant stages. So no Yoshi's Island, no Lilat Cruz. Jazzy J thinking, pondering if you will, as to what stage we'll be going to. Ralphie, feeling pretty confident, looking like it. Uh, the Wolf playing very well right now. Um, the disadvantage state for Jazzy J was really hard. He could not get off the ledge against Ralphie. Um, either was always trading or was kind of just losing out to the big hitboxes of Wolf. That Nair so potent at catching jump-ins, so potent because it lingers so long at catching, uh, at catching get-up attacks, uh, catching uh, roll-ins, catching those neutral get-ups. Uh, kind of a catch-all option against a lot of moves, unless you're dropping from ledge waiting for it and then aerialing it back. Kind of a, something that can be very difficult to deal with if you do not have the proper ones to do so. However, though, a uh, similar situation to uh, what happened in uh, Jazzy's last set against Stretch was down game number one, made a little bit of a comeback, kind of a dominant performance by Stretch in game number one as well. We're going to see if we can do the same thing here. The same caliper comes out in battle Battlefield. We're going to see if it pays off in spades in the same way that it did in that earlier set.
Once again, though, Ralphie has just be in the corner, looking for that up tilt. However, though, that tilt laggy enough. One of Wolf's better uh, uh, ledge crafting options for that two frame. However, laggy enough where it's actually pretty punishable on like the down smash on like the nair, so it can be a little bit more difficult to catch. Trying to catch that with also set of shield, not just enough time to do so. And he's in that up to 50% range, and that's going to be enough to stock Ralphie. A pretty crucial first stock take, puts him in a position where now he gets to play his game, put him in the corner, says, all right, I got you now, let's break up some damage. I said, I'm not dying anytime soon. I still got quite some time before I'm losing this stock. Nair grab into a, another ledge up situation that Nair again putting up so big fair, looking for the upper on the jump in. The situation here looking pretty dire for um, Desi. We've seen the combos almost passes that. A little bit too close in the range of when that Nair hit. That more of a rising there than a falling in a situation. And wasn't able to um, get the follow up with down smash. On no tech, if you do landing, that landing there, a lot of time that down will just catch. Oh, that is pretty key though. Been able to conduct under those lasers. Been seeing it, the nice utilization by uh, Jesse G, but the recovery from Alfie equally good. Dash attack sending straight up, nearly taking the stop. And another dash attack will be taking it up top. Really hard to get out of that move, really hard to tell where you're going to go. Sometimes it sends straight out, other times it sends straight up. And that is going to be a two stock lead currently for Ralphie and has already amassed a little bit of extra damage himself. 34% looking pretty good. Does get ledge grab though. And that is going to be a miss with time punish. 44% looking for a very nice parry by Jazzy, but the space of my Ralphie with Wolf's incredible immobility. Not going to get caught in that situation. F throw. And F tilt. This is looking like a real good situation for Alfie. Going for a message sending down it doesn't end up getting it that time. And double side B back here will be confirmed. And just enough for Jazzy J to come back in this game number two. At least for now, uh, Ralphie with that big full stock and basically a half of that 73% damage done lead. Off my stage. Oh no, he goes it up. Looking for a DI mix up clearly. Fair. Try to catch a bear. Looks for two. Doesn't have get that huge reach on the extended hurt box up. Bayonetta's down tilt. Almost takes it for Alfie. Back in the air, says go Bayonetta. And looking for those up tilts. I think Ralphie is kind of understanding uh, the habits that um, Jazzy has had on those platforms. How he likes to block immediately, then run to the opposite side of the platform. And currently uh, looking for that up tilt every time that it happens. Just barely missing out. That back is enough though on the shield drop. And that's going to be Ralphie taking a 2 0 oh, over Jazzy G. 2 2 stops. And a dominant performance by Ralphie. He's going to be moving on. I think that is the last round of pool, so he's going to be moving all the way on into the top 24, I believe. Hello, everyone. Welcome.